Welcome, friends. The mysterious depths of the ocean contain many unusual and strange things. Thanks to the efforts of enthusiasts who devote their entire lives to ocean floor research, we discover objects that can not only surprise, but also explain many historical puzzles. Today we will deal with such discoveries. Welcome to the Y Channel. Get ready. We all know the legend of Atlantis, which was absorbed in great water in one night. All traces of her were lost in the ocean depths. However, this is not the only city underwater. In the era of Egypt's active development, the port city of the poetic name Heracleion was located in the Nile Delta. Compared to other Egyptian agglomerations, the city was highly developed due to numerous trade routes passing through it. Sailors from around the world also stopped here. The main temple of Heracleigoni was built in honor of the sun god Ammon. The city could have existed and would most likely become an important tourist destination, were it not for the event that tragically interrupted its existence. In the first century BC, there was a strong earthquake that raised the houses to the ground, sank the ships in the port and forced the inhabitants to flee and abandon all their lives. For two millennia, the ruins of the city were hidden under layers of silt and ocean. Herak legend probably would remain only a legend, thanks to which the city was known to almost the entire ancient world. But in 2000, French underwater archaeologist Frank Gaudio discovered a black granite slab with the inscription Herak legend off the coast of Alexandria in the Bay of Abukir. Then, in the same place, the expedition team led by Gaudio discovered wrecks, as well as many jewels, coins and personal effects of the city's residents. Although the city lived only in legends it was found, and it became a real city. Who knows, maybe one day archaeologists will also find Atlantis. The British merchant ship named after the Indian waterfall Jersapa made its maiden voyage in 1919. The ship regularly delivered cargo around the world, but with the onset of World War Tumman II, like most British merchant ships, it had to carry military cargo. His last journey began in December 1940, when he sailed from the port of Calcutta to Liverpool, loaded with a mysterious load. Throughout January 1941, Jersapa sailed in a convoy of British warships, but in February, due to crowding, the ship slowed down and lagged behind them. This turned out to be fatal. Off the coast of Ireland, the ship was detected by a German submarine, which fired a missile at it which led to sinking. Of the 85 crew members, only the second captain Richard Iris was saved. Despite the secret status of the cargo, treasure hunters were rumored of its extraordinary value. However, Iris was consistently silent about the crash site. For over 70 years, treasure hunters have unsuccessfully traversed the ocean off the coast of Ireland. Everything changed in 2010 when the American expedition Odyssey Marine Exploration discovered a sunken ship 500 kilometers from the coast of Ireland. In rusty holds, more than 108 tons of silver in bars were found, which made the find the largest ever precious load of precious metals ever fished out of the ocean floor. Since the total value of the treasures is worth $73 million, an international scandal broke out over who owns the treasure. The island of Yonaguni is located in the western part of Japan in the Okinawa Prefecture. The waters off the island's coast are extremely popular diving spots. It was the divers in 1986 who discovered a huge rock monument here. The head of the local tourist association Keikairo Eratake, looking for a place to observe the hammerhead shark, discovered a number of rock formations that had a specific architectural form. The Sumerian pyramids are the most similar structures to the discovered monument. In the center of the formation, there is a building 42 meters high, and on both sides there are five-story buildings measuring 183 by 150 meters. In addition, correct and even architectural forms began to discuss who could build something like this at the bottom of the sea? Eretek turned to specialists with this question. During the research expedition, the experts came to the amazing conclusions. Geologist Robert Scock, a professor at the University of Boston, unexpectedly found that the object is not artificial, but has a natural origin. He noticed that the monolith consists of sandstone, which has cracking properties along the plains. 
given the strong seismic activity in the form of earthquakes, which the Japanese islands regularly suffer from. It is not surprising that the formation came out so perfectly shaped, said the geologist. These theses have not gained support in the scientific community and caused a significant dispute, which scientists are unable to solve to this day. Near the island of Norman's Cay, which belongs to the Bahamas Archipelago, a sunken Curtis Ride C-46 Commando military aircraft was recently discovered. This discovery raises many questions for both local fishermen and ocean explorers. This aircraft model was actively used during World War Toman II. Surprisingly, however, the war has nothing to do with the fact that the plane was at the bottom of the ocean. According to Aviation Archives, Curtis Ride C-46 Commando crashed on November 15, 1980. At the same time, as the long-term investigation showed, the aircraft was used by the Colombian drug smuggling cartel, but why did the Colombian Mafia use an American Air Force plane? Good question. On October 18, 1865, the SS Republic steamship sailed from New York to New Orleans. For this reason, there was help for the South on the steamer, 51,000 gold coins, the total value of which at that time was about $400,000. Off the coast of Georgia, the ship hit a hurricane as a result of which the SS Republic sank. In 2003, the expedition Odyssey Marine Exploration we already knew stated that she managed to locate the remains of the steamer. Over the next two years they managed to extract the valuable cargo in its entirety. None of the coins extracted from the wreckage were produced after 1865, which suggests that the remains lie SS Republic. Given the inflation at the time the load was extracted, the total value of the valuables extracted was estimated at $400 million. In the Baltic Sea at a depth of 90 meters, there is a strange stone object resembling a spaceship. This unusual stone, called the Baltic Anomaly, was discovered by Swedish ocean explorer Peter Lindbergh in June 2011. Since he did not undertake to explain what this bizarre object was and where it came from, the discovery led to the birth of many conspiracy theories. For example, that the object on the bottom could be evidence of an alien visit to our planet in ancient times. Researchers from the University of Stockholm in 2018 showed that the truth is much more mundane. According to research results, this strange object is of volcanic origin, and numerous furrows and funnels were cut out by the ice as the glaciers receded. In other words, the Baltic anomaly is of natural origin, although the discoverer Peter Lindbergh does not agree with these conclusions. According to him, all electronics failed in the immediate vicinity of the object on his team's ships, and satellite communications were difficult. Why did this happen? It is not known until today. In 1969, the Apollo 11 spacecraft was sent to the moon using the Saturn V rocket. Rocket engines propelling the accelerators fell to the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean and should theoretically remain there forever. However, that in 2012 the director of Amazon, billionaire Jeff Bezos, became interested in the fate of engines who organized a search expedition with private money. With the help of sonar, the engines were found at a depth of 4,000 meters and extracted to the surface. After a two-year renovation, the historic rockets were handed over to the Seattle Aviation Museum. Bezos, a well-known enthusiast of space, claims that he suddenly came up with the idea of looking for engines and decided that he was worth the trouble. And what finds from the bottom of the ocean have you heard of? Write in the comments if you liked it, you can like this video, subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to not miss interesting materials.